ஹாய் ஹலோ வணக்கம் அண்ட் வெல்கம் டு அட் அனதர் எபிசோட் ஆன் லிட்டில் ஸ்லா யூடியூப் சேனல் டுடே இன் திஸ் வீடியோ வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு சி அபவுட் எல்ஆர் அண்டர் ஸ்கோர் எம்எல் அண்டர் ஸ்கோர் ஜேசான் அண்ட் திஸ் இஸ் தி லூட்ரனர் யூட்டிலிட்டி ஃபங்க்ஷன் விச் வி யூஸ் டு டீல் வித் ஜேசான் ரெக்வெஸ்ட் அண்ட் ரெஸ்பான்ஸ் we'll see how to use it and what are all the uses of lr eval jason in this video so before we move on to the video this is me yuvasan shanmugam i request you all to subscribe to little sla youtube channel if you have not subscribed yet please do like comment your questions and feedbacks in the comment section and share the video with your friends so what is this lr eval jason do so this lr eval json load runner function creates a json object from a string or a file and this lr eval json parses a json string creates a json object and stores the handle of the object in a parameter and we can even display that as a response message in a structured format and that is what we are going to see now in this video so before we start let's have a request so first we'll have a request which is the web rest request and this is the url of it where we get a detail of the employee the employee number 1 so this comes as a json response and this is the request and i can show you the response here so here we can see so this is the response where we get the detail of an employee the employee name the employee salary his age and then the final message so this is what we get as a response so let us execute this and see how does it come or what do, what do we get in the response so when we execute this request that is the json request so this is due to the impact that we have with the response since it's a public request so we might get this response whenever there are more number of requests that has get hit so we'll try it again and see the response now so now we can see here the script has passed but we don't but we do not get any response in the output window so what are we going to do next so the next step is going to be we are going to correlate the value so what are we going to do is like we are going to fetch all the value with this name output so any value that comes as a response is going to be in the output value since we have the left boundary and right boundary as the first and the last so the first character is going to be the left boundary and the last one is going to be the right boundary so any value that comes in the scope of the body will be taken as the response and that will be stored in the value which is output and the next one so here we are going to use our lr eval json and let's now enter the value here so what are we going to do now is we are going to save the output value in the buffer so here we can see constant character star buffer so we are going to save the value inside this buffer so how are we going to do it so we are giving a value which is buffer and storing the output value inside it so output is what we have correlated and then the next is going to be the buffer file so the buffer file is going to be the 
json object and we will give it as json param so this is going to be the simple syntax so what did we do here so we have saved this output value in the buffer and we are giving or we are passing that as a json parameter file so the next thing we are going to do is we are going to stringify or we are going to stringify this value in a json format and for that that we will enter lr json stringify and the value the json object that we have here will be taken as the input value and the format is going to be intended and the output is going to be the result and the next one is we are going to output the message here as the result so first thing what we did is we are hitting the request and we get the response and the response is correlated here in the step to using the web bridge save param underscore x under this we extract the complete value and then the third step is we are saving the output as a buffer in lr eval json with the json object json param and then that particular json object is sent into the json stringify where we format them into the intended value and finally we output that in the message as the result so this is as a five step process and we did that successfully so let's run the script and see what happens So here we can see that the value is intended, the JSON value is intended here. So this actually helps us to parameterize the value or to make any changes. But one thing we have to remember is the return for the function returns zero on success and minus one on failure. And there is no parameterization applicable to this function. So any value that we extract here, we can use it by extracting it and then we can manipulate it but the, there is no chance of parameterizing to this function is possible so that one thing we have to remember and this eval json helps us to break or to parse so that's very important thing so this helps to parse the json string which we get in the response and it's very useful and helpful in the load runner utility function so I hope this video would be very useful to you. Until we meet you in another interesting video and useful video, it's bye-bye from Vasan Shanmugam and Little's Law. Mm -hmm.